This is the plaintiff, Wallace Riley. He says he did some handyman work for his neighbor, and everything was fine until Hurricane Irma hit. The woman tried to blame him for damages caused by the huge hurricane, and she began harassing him mercilessly and even sent the cops to his house with an injunction to protect her from stalking. The woman's absolutely crazy because she was the one stalking him. Bottom line, he had to hire a lawyer to clear his good name. The charges were dismissed, and the defendant owes him $5,000 for all she's put him through. This is the defendant, Bonnie Davis. She says the plaintiff put glue in her doorknobs. He looks in her windows, takes pictures of her, and she got an injunction against him. This guy got everything he deserved. Any costs he incurred were because of his own terrible behavior, and she doesn't owe him a penny. She's accused of filing a false report. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff is a handyman who worked for the defendant, but then when Hurricane Irma hit, the defendant blamed all the damage on him, and she's been on a campaign of terror ever since. She says he's like a stalker. It's the case of stalking and talking. Thank you, Douglas. Wallace Riley, you are suing Bonnie Davis. You can sit, don't worry. Bonnie Davis for $5,000 in your legal fees, gas, and defamation of character and loss of work because yes, she got a restraining order against you that you feel was maliciously prosecuted. All right, tell me what happened here. How do you two know each other? Okay, I've known Ms. Davis for approximately three years. Uh, we live in a retirement community. I Where is this? In Clearwater, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, I do handyman work on the side. Okay. She hired me to take care of her home during the, uh, during the summer months when she was away because- How many uh, years did she do that? Uh, two years. Okay. I, I took care of her home two summers while she was okay. gone. And how much does she pay you for that? Uh, $10 a week, $40 a month. Okay. And, and what would taking care of her home entail? Uh, keeping the weeds out, uh, trimming palm fronds. Uh, if she called and had any special requests, I would handle that. And uh, we had, uh, she was away for the summer and we experienced Hurricane Irma. Irma came through. I and, remember Irma. <laughs> okay. And it uh, damaged her house. It peeled uh, aluminum up from her roof. And uh, during the entire duration of the storm, this aluminum was scraping across her house. Uh, after the storm, I called her and told her that there had been damage to her house. Uh, she called someone and had it fixed because it had been repaired after a couple of days. And uh, so then on, uh, that was back in September, she called me on October the 19th to tell me that she was returning to Florida for the winter. Uh, the same day on the 19th, my daughter called me and told me that my son was sick and uh, was in the hospital. So uh, the, uh, the, I went over and took care of the items that she asked me to take care of. She, uh, I got another call from my daughter. My son's situation was serious and it was suggested that I go to Atlanta immediately, so I headed up that way. Ms. Davis uh, had come home, and uh, she had noticed the hurricane damage, and, uh, and she uh, started calling me and uh, leaving messages on my phone, calling me foul and vulgar names, telling me that I was an idiot, uh, hillbilly with some certain explicatives before that, and uh, I wasn't really in much of the... Uh, uh, mood to handle that, especially with uh, that nature of the phone call, and I was worried about my son. My daughter called me uh, the next day and said I needed to come to Atlanta immediately because his situation had gotten seri very serious, and he passed away during our trip to Atlanta. I'm so, so sorry. So that's, uh, and when I arrived home, there were voice messages on my machine. Ms. Davis had uh, left uh, several messages on my machine. She had called me all kinds of foul names. What was, she, what was her complaint on those, like more or less, what was the complaint? Uh, she, was she... she wanted to know why I destroyed her house, why I... Inside the house? Yes. The, what uh, did she feel, had been, what was she, did you keep any of the messages? Uh, unfortunately, I okay. didn't realize that it was gonna go right. to this point. But uh, she never asked me to board up her window. She never asked me to do any kind of uh, <sighs> storm preparation. So it was right after that, a restraining order was served against me. She accused me of stalking, and I, I, I've never right. had anything like that happen to me. I was... So she, did she know that your son had passed away, and she was... Did you tell uh, her, or you didn't... I don't her? remember if I told her or not. What was the problem? Let me, go, let, me, let me just hand the floor over to her for a second. What was the problem? What happened here? I came down October 20th. 
I saw it. I called him. You I saw said, what? I still don't know I what it is. I saw all the damage. What? A uh, whole bag full of pictures. Can I see those? and after. Yes. And they're all in order, one through okay, 29. Okay, but what, now tell me about it. What did he damage at your house? He smashed open the cable. Then he took... I'm sorry, where is the cable? Outside? Yes, everything oh, was outside. wait a minute. So he smashed up the cable box outside? Yes, and they had black ties. Wait, 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 wait. That's not Irma that did that. No, I know. They How do you know? Me. No, I'm... Being because sarcastic. the I'm doesn't sorry. come with the pair of scissors and cut my ties on on the cable. Okay, where is the proof that there are scissors that cut your tie as opposed? I have the Stop tie a second. Down. Where is the proof that there are scissors that cut your ties as opposed to that the cover of your cable stuff blew off and then the cables were ripping around in what? How many? How high did uh, Hurricane Irma go? How many, uh, what mile per hour? And your neck of the woods was 90, part of the worst. 95, 95 miles an God, hour. Show, this, sh show her the pictures a second. Show me there where I'm to see I that have a... a uh, show me there where I am to see that a scissor cut a wire. Show me which picture shows a scissor cut a wire. It, it doesn't, but you oh, don't have Oh, so we don't have proof of that one. Either. Okay, next, wait. Move. Number two. Hold on. Edging with bricks walk destroyed hoses cut. Do you see they used to be in a nice just a minute, order just a minute. and standing up? Yeah, and then something knocked them down. Yeah, well, Right, you think it might have been the hurricane? Irma. It wasn't Irma. Oh, that wasn't Irma. No. 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 No, he just went over there and then moved every so often. Well, he was some there random for a full week. I have witnesses here. I'm everything. sorry, tell me, tell me what you've circled here that I oh, should see that he destroyed front. in your house. Tell that's me about that. That's my front porch. Mm -hmm. Looked like a hammer. He banged it on the tile. Show me what looks like a hammer that was banged on the tile. Well, my tiles were perfect. Now I have cracks in them. How old are those tiles? I really couldn't tell you. I bought the house two How years ago. How long ago did you buy the house with those tiles in it? Two years ago. Can I, ex I explain when I came down? How on did the you 20th? get a restraining order? What did you tell the judge had happened that would grant you a restraining order? I, I will tell you. Have you have a crack tile you and you assume it's sabotage? What, you know, there's a hurricane? <laughs> have you ever lived through a hurricane? No. Okay. Who gave you the idea to go and get a restraining order? I did after two months of every day, constant picture taken up on my property. I told them, get away from me. Okay. He continued so every single day taking pictures. He and according to me. you, that's not how it's going. She's that, continuing to leave messages. Yes, yes. No, I, I and I, I never took any pictures of her beyond the time that I took a video of her calling me vulgar names. Do you have that no, video? No, I didn't. Yes, I do. May I see that video? Yes. Would you like for me to bring it to you? No, nope. my bailiff will get it. Just I, I just I called him a mother. And nothing, and that was the only thing I ever said. Just a mother? Just a mother. Okay. Not Let's see this video. House. Hold on a second. What day did you take that tape? I think it may have been November the 8th. And what day did you get served with a restraining order? Uh, December the Seven. 7th. Let me see the petition that you filed in order to get a judge to give you the restraining order. And what happened? Please. I don't have that. The petition? Do you have the petition? Yes, I have it all right here. Why don't you tell me what happens? The police come to your house to serve the restraining order. And yes. tell me what happens. They came at 6.50 in the morning. They uh, woke us up. Uh, they... They asked if I had any weapons, and I said yes. And I have, I'm an avid outdoorsman. I am a hunter. I have 15 uh, rifles, a, a few handguns. The, Quite a few. The uh, sheriff was unhappy that I had so many weapons that he had to confiscate. He said he was going to be late for work. He had to call in another, <laughs> had to call in another car, and it looked like how an many FBI. Weapons, how many weapons did you have, like 22? Uh, 15. 
15? Okay. Yes. And so it so, looked like an FBI raid in front of my house that morning. Well, that whose fault is that? They were just going to go in and serve a restraining order. Yeah. They get they, it's not, you, look, you have a right to have the guns, but they have a procedure also. Right, I understand they, that. You know, it's kind of ridiculous in this case, but that's what the I procedure is. That. So, he's an avid hunter and he has 15 guns. Do you think having 15 guns is excessive? Yes. It's too much. 15 guns, what are you saying? I would say yes, but you know, I've got a cousin too that's got a lot of them, so. Fair enough, what do you say? I do believe it's a little excessive. It just seems a little weird, doesn't it? Little, yes. Okay, yes. going inside the courtroom. So you went to the hearing uh, yes. for the permanent injunction. Yes, yes. And you hired a lawyer. Yes, I did. And you, according to you, you paid the lawyer $750? That is correct. Do you hire a lawyer? No. Okay, no. and so both of you testify, I presume, at the hearing? Yes. And what happened at the hearing? We were in a do. Uh, I, I, he said this is a criminal thing with all the damage that was caused. He, we, it should have been. I'm going to tell you what. Have you read dismissed. this petition? Yes, I have. Okay, here's what it says. Mr. Riley was hired to take care of my home during the summer. I returned to Massachusetts. He neglected to keep my property in good condition, although he catches the che cashes the check each month. When I returned September of 2017, the property was destroyed. You didn't return in September. You returned in October. Cable box was smashed. Ties to keep cables together were cut. Paint on the house was scraped. The judge does live in Florida, right? Yes. Right. So the yes. judge does know there was a hurricane, right? Yes. He was only he was the only with the keys to my house. I'm holding him responsible for damages to my house. What judge in their right mind signed this restraining order? I had that same question. You know what the problem is? I expected to look at the petition and see lies. I expected to look at the petition and see he told me he'd kill me. Uh, he pointed his gun at me, stuff that she didn't say in the answers to the complaint. Then I could, but when I look at the petition, she says exactly what she thinks. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You can't make a malicious prosecution case out of that. What should have happened had things worked the way a sane <laughs> judiciary would handle it is that she would say this and they would say, I'm sorry, ma'am, this is a civil matter. Instead, she goes to get a restraining order and a judge grants it. Your Honor, can I explain? Wow, I'm so not even odd. going so to the damages. So really what happens I here, can't prove lady, it. can I just tell you something? I don't even have sympathy for you. I don't. Okay? You have zero evidence that he did any of these things. You do not know what a hurricane is. You don't know what a hurricane is. What a hurricane the, blows. I know I need home. you to stop talking and listen. I would never have signed this petition. Of my house, Put judge. the pause button on you. I would never have signed this petition, okay? Ever. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure your lawyer told you that, that your lawyer was stunned that right. this was signed. Right. So all of the trouble that you went through is because we are all citizens of the same state where we agree to live by a set of rules and laws. And part of that societal contract is that if you're summons to court, you gotta go. And you gotta do the things that we say are for the greater good, including the weapon confiscation. Um, you know, I, I, it, it, it slays me that there's weapon confiscation in your house and not weapon confiscation at the house of the shooter in Parkland. It just slays me, you know? But based on that, I cannot award you the money that, that you want. You follow what I'm saying? Do yes, you understand I do. why? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so my verdict in this case is for the defendant. So the plaintiff fails to prove his case here. Mr. Riley, did you ask your attorney if, you, if he thought you should file this lawsuit in court? Did you talk about it? Or well, I asked him about um, how to re, uh, regain my $750, and he said to handle it in small claims court. So that's what I did. Well, obviously, you heard the judge. I mean, she was in favor of you. You know, she thought you were wronged, but she cannot find for you what right. you're looking for. Right. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. That's yes. a shame. It's very disappointing. No question about yes. it. All right. Thank okay, you very thank much. You. Sorry you. about that. Ms. Davis, the defendant, is on her way out of the courtroom. If you listen to all the testimony, you got quite a mouth, Ms. Davis, mm -hmm. you know? Getting angry. Huh? Full of stress. And Full of anger, stress. And anger. I think, I think the, uh, well, both of you have got really angry at each other. I think the judge believes you were totally in the wrong. And you've never been through a hurricane, have you? You got out of town. There was no damage at the time. 
just limbs down. We, we were spared. You weren't there. So you really don't know. All right. Sorry about that. You must sign a few documents right, on your you. way out of courtroom. All righty. Interesting case, Harvey. What do you think? I want to just echo what the judge said. I think the judge who issued the restraining order is crazy. There's absolutely no basis, no threat. And that'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.